when, it's, when the, the vitamin C molecule meets the cell, right, at the point of junk, at the juncture between the vitamin C and the cell, the cell doesn't know whether that vitamin C came from an asparagus or came from a supplement or it came from an orange or a berry or it came from something you got at the vitamin store. All it sees is the shape of the ascorbic acid molecule. So anybody out there telling you that, there's a, there, that food-based vitamin C is better than ascorbic acid is a flat-out ignoramus, a biochemical ignoramus. However, no, hang on, let me finish, bro. Let me finish, okay? Uh, however, it's true that you always want to get your vitamins from food, and they are more assimilatable because of cofactors that are related to the vitamin C. So it's not the ascorbic acid that's different. It's the cofactors in the food that make the ascorbic acid more readily absorbable by the digestive tract. So when you eat a food or a food-based supplement, it goes in your digestive tract, and the co factors with the ascorbic acid help that vitamin or help that ascorbic acid get into the blood more effectively but once the ascorbic acid is in the blood it doesn't matter whether it came from a whole food or a supplement once it meets the cell the ascorbic acid it, the cell has to take it in as ascorbic acid has to take the vitamin C as ascorbic acid so where food based vitamin C is a superior form of vitamin C is not because it's the vitamin C but the cofactors that are with the vitamin C in the whole whole food and I'm on record as saying I'll say it again it's always better to take whole food supplement or whole foods than it is to take sift strictly supplements but the problem is when it comes to foods is we don't know how much vitamin C is in our foods we don't know how much selenium is in our foods we don't know how much of anything is in our foods it's a crapshoot and the only way to guarantee is by using a supplement but when it comes to whole food supplements as opposed to whole foods whole foods are always going to be your best but when it comes to whole food supplements here's the problem. You don't get the same kind of quantities of nutrients. So you're never going to get a thousand milligrams of vitamin C in a whole food supplement. Yes, you may get a little more absorbed, but you're still not going to get the same potency. And given the ridiculous price and cost of whole food supplements, in my opinion, it's just not worth it. If you want to use a whole food supplement, eat a whole food. That's really the best way to do it. Other than that, anybody telling you and for you guys writing me letters, oh, somebody, some gal wrote me a letter. I'm so disappointed because the Beyond Tangy Tangerine has ascorbic acid, and I heard ascorbic acid is, or whole food supplements are better than ascorbic acid. Not true. The cell itself takes in ascorbic acid. It doesn't take in the whole food supplement. It has to extract the ascorbic acid out of your whole food supplement in order to absorb it. So why not just take the ascorbic acid and save your body the work of extracting it? Yes, it's true. Please understand. Yes, it's true. Whole food supplements and whole foods have cofactors that assist in the processing and absorption of the vitamin C, of the ascorbic acid. But vitamin C and ascorbic acid are synonyms. They're synonymous. They're the same thing. So vitamin C is ascorbic acid, and a cell takes in ascorbic acid, not a whole food supplement. So anybody out there telling yeah, you that a whole... Did, did, yeah, you can, but did that make sense? First say yes uh, or no. I, well, so well, no, 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 bros. Did that make sense what I said? And then I'll let you respond. It does, it does make sense. Okay, it, now, it, now tell me your take on it. Okay, now what happens if the uh, cell only can uh, absorb 5% of the uh, standard of ascorbic acid? Uh, and you, I mean, you it's not going to make a difference. times more. The whole food supplement only assists in the absorption from the gut, not the absorption into the cell. Okay. Once it gets, once the whole food supplement gets broken down, the vitamin C is freed, and the, the the bioflavonoids are freed, and the carotenes are freed. They're all freed, and once this vitamin C gets to the cell, it's not connected to the whole food supplement any longer. Okay. There's no the question. Would be what would uh, enable that vitamin C standard ascorbic acid to be ab uh, absorbed, absorbed more effectively? Better. Now, are you saying absorbed into the gut or absorbed yeah, into, no, the into the cell? Into the cell. Into the cell. Yeah. Uh, the working on the thing, cell. Going working. Into the cell is another thing. The cell has an ability to absorb ascorbic acid very effectively as long as the cell is healthy. So that's not a problem. You've got to make sure your cells are healthy. And, and as we said, all disease are, is cell disease. But I think what you may be referring to is the gut. See, this gut. is an important yeah. distinction. Absorption into the gut right, the or gut. absorption through the gut into the blood and then absorption into the cell. There's two types of absorption, right? Mm -hmm. And we get, sometimes we confuse. When we say absorption, what we really mean is, a, when we're talking about vitamin C anyway, is absorption through the digestive tract into the 
the blood. From there, the body will take care of absorption into the cell. If you want to upregulate that, then work on your cells. Where we really want to work on things is absorption through the intestinal barrier into the blood. That's a very important point. In fact, I, might, I think I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. We'll start off the program with that tomorrow because that's very confusing. And I don't know who's going around saying that whole food vitamin C is somehow different from regular vitamin C because it's not. Although, again, I've got, got to say this again because I know somebody's going to misunderstand what I'm saying. Whole food supplements do have bioflavonoids and other, other substances that help with the absorption of vitamin C. And please, please, please understand, foods are always the best way to get your nutrition, not supplements. The problem is we just don't know how much of the nutrition is left in our food because of how we've trashed our soils, how how we process and store and ship and preserve our foods. We don't really know what kind of nutrients are left, so it's kind of a necessary evil to have to supplement. Steve, we're just out of time. But I I really... touch on one one thing before you you wrap up the show? The difference between vitamin D2 and D3... There's significant significant difference. And how much more of the D2 do you have to consume to equal the same amount of B3 and the same thing for K1 and K2? There, there are significant differences between all of those, and I only have 30 seconds, and I can't, I can't really do it justice. But I'll tell you what, Steve, you can either call back tomorrow, or you, even if you don't, I'm going to start off the program talking about this because it's a very, very important subject. Again, whole foods are the best way to get your nutrients, not supplements. And again, whole food supplements have an advantage over regular supplements, but the, the molecule itself, the vitamin C, itself is the same. Ascorbic acid is ascorbic acid is ascorbic acid, and that's the only way a cell can utilize vitamin C is as ascorbic acid. So you save yourself a lot of money, you get a much bigger dose if you use plain old ascorbic acid. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must- be their event presented by American Living. This massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Pepper Network, along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival. Survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866 229 0927. 866 229 0927. Or visit mypatriotsupply.com for emergency preparedness, self reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotsupply.com.